Hello, Arxaman Legacy here, and today I'm going to be starting a mini-series on how to mod Fable Anniversary using Fable Explorer. Now, the series has already been started previously by showing you guys how to remove your age, but I'm going to be showing you another tutorial starting with age again. This is because I found another method where we can specifically go in and only get rid of the aging and not have to get rid of other things that pertain to will and your hair color just yet. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now to start this off, we're going to need a few things. First, you're going to need Fable Anniversary installed. You're also going to need a file from Fable TLC called the textures.big file. You're also going to need a copy of Fable Explorer. Links to some of the stuff will be in the description below. Now, for starters, let's look for the texture.big file. So inside of the Fable TLC or Fable the Lost Chapters folder, depending on how you have the game, you're going to want to go to data, you're going to want to go to graphics, PC, and then there's textures.bit. You're going to want to make a copy of this, and then you're going to want to bring it into your Fable Anniversary folder. For me, I'm going to go into the Wellington game, Fable data, build, data, compiled defs, development. Inside this folder, you're going to want to just paste it here. And then just replace it if you already have it in there like I do, which you probably don't. But for the purpose of this, I will. So it's going to be right in here. Don't mind all my extra stuff here. I do this a lot, after all. And then you're going to need to open up Fable Explorer. Once you've opened up Fable Explorer, it's going to be the same as our last tutorial, except that there's going to be one extra step. So we're going to open up first inside the compiled defs development folder one more time within the fable anniversary directory you're going to want to change this down to bin and then open up names.bin next you're going to want to open up game.bin and then you're also going to want to open up textures.big this is the new step that i'm adding next you'll want to click this middle one here as long as you open them in the right order and it should open up this submenus here. You're going to want to scroll down until you find Creature. Once you've opened up Creature, scroll down to 1470 because that is Creature Hero. You're going to want to open up that by double clicking and you're going to want to single click on Creature on this side. Wait for it to pop up. And then once you open this up a little bit, scroll down a tad You'll find Hero Morph Death. You're going to want to click Links to Game Bin Entry ID. This will open up another window, and then you'll want to expand it again, and then click on the plus, and then Texture Morphs. Once you've opened up Texture Morphs, you'll have 156 things to play with. For the purpose of removing age, the things we are going to need to do is remove just everything that says old and everything that says bump. So if we scroll down here, you'll see something that says bump. So you're going to want to have to go in here and delete everything that says old and everything that says bump. Once you've gone through and deleted everything that says old and everything that says bump, you should be left with around 81 files left in here. Next thing you want to do is hit apply changes and then go over here, right click on the one that says game.bin, right click save as, and then you'll want to save it as game.bin. In my case, I'm just going to save it as game age or game.bin just because it's a tutorial. So let's do game.bin, replace. Now that you've done that, you guys can start up the game and see what has changed. Okay, now that we've loaded the game up, as you can see, if you've noticed the differences from the beginning of the video, so far we have blonde hair and we don't have age wrinkles on our face or on our body. Now, this is only part one of our mini-series tutorial here. 
Um, if you guys want to come back in the next one, we will be showing you guys how to specifically get rid of only the will markers. See you guys next time. Bye.